All right, so we're gonna continue um, with the HP Model 15-BS015DX. Uh, my phone actually overheated again. It's too hot today, so that's the second time. I had to stick my phone in the freezer for a while. Anyways, um, so as I was saying, for removing the screen, it's just like all the other models. You kinda just pry this frame out, pull um, this one up, and then push this frame towards the center, all right? make it look easy because I've done this so much that I kind of know how to move the frame to pull it out easily. All right, so just like that, pull this frame out. There is an adhesive or there was an adhesive here. Um, I guess the past, the previous person that removed it took that adhesive out. Um, so the bottom is a little bit tricky to remove. You kind of have to mess with it and wiggle it around. All right, so let's see here, just like this. All right, so it's actually also a little bit more difficult because of the hinge repair that I did. So I've used an epoxy. Um, if you're gonna attempt to do this, the epoxy is called JB Weld, um, but you have to be very careful when doing this because if you do it wrong, your computer's not gonna be able to close properly and it's very difficult to get this stuff back out. Okay, so make sure um, if you are going to attempt this, I put the epoxy and then I put tape or saran wrap on top so that way I can put the, the cover on top so it pushes the epoxy down and keeps it in place and it doesn't make the, so it doesn't allow the epoxy to get to the wrong areas. I also cover the, um, the parts of the screen with tape so that way um, if I need to remove the screen, I can peel this tape up and then actually the hinge, um, the part of the screen is not glued in place. So there are lots of things you need to take into um, account if you are going to attempt this. So I don't recommend um, anyone just attempting this unless they are planning to throw their computer away if, if they end up messing it up. So as you can see, this epoxy. Also when you do this, um, this epoxy, it takes like, 10 to 20 hours to completely cure. So you don't want to, um, you have to make sure that when it sets, it sets in the proper way. Um, because if it moves around and then it sets um, uh, out of alignment, then your computer is gonna be basically stuck open like this. Okay, um, but anyways, for removing the screen, there's just the four screw, actually, you have to remove this metal bar as well. So you have to take out the two screws from the top and then take out this one screw on each side on the bottom um, in order to lift this screen out. Um, once you get the two screws up, you don't have to take this whole bar out because it's part of the hinge. You just lift it slightly enough to um, uh, pull this, the, this metal bracket slightly to the side to get the screen out. Okay, and once you do that, it's just like all the other ones. There's the connector back there with tape holding it in place. You just peel it up and pull the connector out. But if you are going to attempt to replacing the screen also, make sure you disconnect the battery. So I made a video earlier, but before my phone overheated, um, showing how to get inside. And yeah, just make sure you disconnect the battery. Um, I might not have shown that process how to disconnect the battery on this model, but um, it should be pretty obvious where the battery is and how to disconnect it. So make sure if you're going to do a screen replacement that you disconnect the battery, hold the power button for 15 seconds, and yeah. So that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, so hopefully this video helped you if it did, and hopefully the other video helped you as well. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.